a, a remarkable story to tell you about myself. I'm not Bill Gates' friend or cousin or not the son of a black sharecropper or anything like that. I'm just a regular guy. I'm a working guy. I've worked in corporate America since 25 years and uh, had a stint in, uh, in uh, financial services, packaged goods, etc. Anyways, along that trajectory, I found that uh, you could use your, your IRA money. Unfortunately, in my career, I had 401ks and things like that I could use. And I found out that you could use that to invest in real estate. And so that's what I've been doing. I uh, spent, uh, you know, a bit of money getting training from a variety of people. And I got to tell you, until I, I, I met Lex, I'd never met such comprehensive, you know, accessible expertise as I have with Lex. And I, it's been a pleasure dealing business with him. I would say that uh, probably in the last year, uh, I really kind of, you know, hunkered down, put all the stuff that I knew to work, and I've got three properties. Uh, we're going to be closing on one shortly, but I, both of them are, are in my IRA. It's a Roth IRA, completely owned. I have no tax consequence ever again. So uh, I'm making thirteen hundred on one, twelve on another, and uh, you know we'll see what I do with it with the third one. But but it works. It makes sense. And uh, you know, if you, anyone has any questions for me about either, can you just run them through? Like let's say, like you, you signed up for. I know you did like another. Another real estate coaching program before you spent some some significant amount of money in those, and then you came to me and spent some more money in the coaching program. Yeah. Can you just walk them through, like let's say your first three houses, just so they can get an idea. Yeah, sure. The actual uh, the actual uh, finding the house, the due diligence, and so forth. All of that stuff that I learned at Lex's boot camp, like you, uh, and in our mentoring sessions, uh, I put into practice. It was just really. You know, if anybody thinks that there's a magic bullet to success, you can leave now because there isn't. It's really hard work, and if it wasn't, there'd be a big line outside. But it's really, uh, you know, you create your own future. But but Lex really inspired me to move forward, to put my knowledge to practice. And so, you know, I, I did what he said. I, I looked uh, on the internet. Uh, I found the properties. I called the realtor, developed a relationship with them, saw the house, took pictures, do all that stuff. Had some people come in there that knew about rehabbing more than I did, gave me estimates, and then I was, you know, comfortable on, you know, no surprises because I don't like surprises, right? What it was going to cost me to rehab, what it was going to cost me to acquire, and so forth, and that's what I did. So, I, so I, I bought the house, one in North Lauderdale. I bought for fifty. Uh, I, I think it was listed for fifty-seven or something like that. I negotiated down to fifty and uh, put about twenty into it. Uh, they're now comping in that neighborhood. That's the one that I have rented for thirteen. They're, they're comping at about 100 uh, in that same neighborhood. So I feel pretty good about the equity that I have in that property. Another one that I did in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, this one took longer. It was an R They're both REOs, but this one, for some reason, they had some title issues to work through and some sewer issues to take care of before I bought some liens to, to go make go away. Uh, and it's just, you know, being, you know, persistent and patient and, and so forth with the realtors. But I uh, bought that for thirty-two five. I put about twenty into it, and that's going to be renting for twelve hundred a month. So does that good cash cash flow, guys? Yeah. So that's house number three, thirty-two five. Yeah. He put that money into his rent's going to for twelve hundred. Now that first house he bought in North Lauderdale for fifty thousand. How much did you put into that? About twenty. So about twenty. So he took for seventy, and you rented that house with Trano for thirteen hundred a month. Trano, one of our corporate members, mm -hmm. rented that in three days for thirteen hundred dollars a month, and then. Uh, the guys that we used for some of our rehabs came and helped Julian with that house. And then the, before that, Julian found a house in Margate that we bought for 58, flipped to Daryl, another one of our students for 64. Daryl put 20 or something into that, and he sold that for like 115. And, and, and Julian was actually involved in the hard money in that transaction as well. So it kind of goes hand in hand. And uh, the other deal was the house in the, the other house in North Florida. Yeah, yeah. This is a short sale that's taken since about January to work through, uh, but uh, they're going to be closing within 30 days. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's going to cost me 55, and has a good potential as a rental or potential flip. So we'll see. But uh, you know, I, like I say, with my IRA, I lend money, or I can acquire, I can flip, I can do any any sort of exit strategies that that any of you can with with conventional means. Uh, just that I have massive tax advantages, never own anything ever again. So that's the problem for me. Right, so if you guys want to know, if you have an IRA or you have any uh, questions about investing in something related to that, Julian actually has a company called the IRA Club. He's actually a corporate member at our monthly meetings, and you can come and ask him more information about that. But bottom line, three houses that he did, two in North Lauderdale, 
one in, uh, in Fort Lauderdale, plus a house that he flipped in Margate, and that's all just in the last 12 months since he did the mentoring program. So yep. that's an example of someone who went from paralysis of analysis, which was a big issue with Julian. He had to analyze, analyze, and he wouldn't do anything, to finally just jumping in and starting to take action. And once he took action, he took massive action. Now, you know, four houses later, and he's waiting for the helicopter out there. <laughs> okay, so Julian, thank you so much for stopping by. And congratulations.